Hi, welcome to another edition of SOHO Today. I'm your host, Mary Joan Schulteis, and at SOHO we are all about small business owners and entrepreneurs. And in today's economy, it is tougher and tougher to hang on to good employees, to offer them benefits, and to attract new employees with benefits. So we're talking today about creative employee benefits. And we've got a terrific person here with us today to talk about them. Her name is Taz Wilson. She's the owner of Alta Staff, a boutique staffing agency here in Chicago. Chicago. And Taz is also an entrepreneur and she's got expertise in program management, administration and staff development. Welcome to the show, Taz. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. So how important is it for small business owners today to try and get creative and find ways to give benefits to their employees? I think it's extremely important. I think the, one of the biggest components of that is learning that benefits are not necessarily monetary benefits. You don't have to spend a ton of money in order to get a great bang or create a corporate culture with your organization that attracts and keeps employees. One of the things that we try to do is come up with free events throughout the city, take advantage of everything that Chicago offers. For example, the Art Institute on Thursday nights are free. And so once a month we'll have a cocktail hour there with all of our associates. It probably costs us between fifty and a hundred dollars depending on the group. And they all get to you know stand around and socialize and get to know each other, you know, in a wonderful, gorgeous setting. Right. You get out of the office and especially if you have so several offices or you've got employees who are telecommuting which so many of us do these days. Also it creates a, a bond with you and the employees and then also amongst the employees. So many employees you know are from different departments, different areas, telecommuting and so it gives them a chance to attach to each other and get to know each other on a social level but also kind of a professional level. And so I think it really creates a unique environment within your organization to have something that is not necessarily, you know, a, a lunch hour or during, right. you know, work hours to have something after hours that people actively participate in. Right. And you had mentioned another one that you like to do sometimes is actually a, a volunteer event. Mm -hmm, absolutely. One of the biggest things I think and one of the biggest bangs in terms of creating a, a corporate culture is, you know, going out, spending a day, you know, for, with Habitat for Humanity. Learn what your employees want to do. You know, you're creating a corporate culture, and so yes, we're calling these creative benefits for employees, but it's, it's a little bit more than that. You're getting them together, they get to socialize, they have things that they may not know about um, that they would have in common. Something else that you, you mentioned to me was trying to offer benefits that traditionally were only available at larger companies or that were more of a high cost to employees. How are you working that? So one of the things that, in the example I always use is when we started, we were looking into traditional 401k programs. I really wanted a retirement savings program to set, be set up for my employees. And so we looked at a lot of them and they were, for the size of our group, between $3,000 and $10,000 annually, which was a prohibitively high cost. So actually our score counselor, which is you know consultants of retired executives who participate, suggested looking into different programs like Fidelity and Ameriprise, which cost us about $360 a year for annual enrollment, and also gave us the option of either contributing to the uh, associates or the employees' accounts, or if we had you know a tough year to pull back on our contribution. You really should talk to your employees and find out what they may feel they can contribute because in this day and age companies are not paying all of those benefits anymore. Yeah, I think a conversation with your employees is extremely important because you can learn what they like, what they don't like, and also um, you know, what they can afford on a weekly, you know, monthly basis. Right. And that conversation, if you have the greatest benefit plan in the world but an employee feels like they suffer every month because that money is taken out of their right. paycheck, it's not going to be a benefit to the employees. It's not a benefit to anybody and you're going to lower morale within the organization because of that. And you might lose those employees as well too because they will look to go elsewhere if they can. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to briefly mention with that, um, Taz had also said though when we talked offline was you've got to know what the eligibility requirements are because you could get dropped actually if you don't have Absolutely. enough participation. And it's especially in health care I think is really the area that this is a grave concern to a lot of employers right yeah. now. If you uh, have a copay with your employees and you don't meet a certain participation rate, usually it's 50% of the eligible employees, your entire benefits plan when it comes at your annual re renewal can just be eliminated. So you really have to be 
aware of it and talk to your broker about what the eligibility requirements are and how you can meet them. And if you don't, what are alternative options? All right. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We are watching SOHO Today. SOHO Today. Welcome back to SOHO Today. We are here with Taz Wilson and we're talking about creative employee benefits. And Taz owns Alta Staff, a boutique staffing agency. You can find her website at altastaff.com. Now tell us what your favorite creative employee benefit is, Taz. Absolutely, I can't take credit for this. Another employer told me about this program and what he does to create a rewards program for all of his employees. Uh, he acquired a rewards card at the bank, a credit card, and he uses all uh, that card for all of his business expenses. So essentially, the thousands of dollars that you pay in rent in just general act, you know, business activities every month goes to fund his reward uh, rewards or reward cards for his employees and that comes in the form of gift cards for Macy's for you know cash gift cards that then he can distribute to his employees and so we started doing that and probably I acquire about hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a month in rewards cards that I give for great attendance great performance um, you know we have an associate of the month program uh, so they you know all compete and you know wait to hear the announcements and then they all kind of pick and choose which cards they want for that month and it gives great benefit and it's very little to no expense for me other right. than uh, you know having that rewards card and using it and making sure that all my business purchases are made on it I just thought that was a fabulous idea and you know your employees clearly must love this oh they adore it. and it, what it does is it creates also a kind of a competitive environment but it's a competitive in a positive way where the rising tide you know rises all ships and where they really want to be the one that has that card at the end of the month yeah I want to thank Taz for being with us today. She's the owner of Alta Staff, and her website is altastaff.com. And you can also find a direct link on the Soho Today website. And in closing, what would you tell small business owners about getting creative with employee benefits? I believe the best uh, advice I ever received and I'd like to give is to talk, talk, talk to other small business owners. Understand what they're doing. Understand their best practices, because you can implement and put those into your own programs. Because we're very conscious about expenses, right. budgets, but we also want to get give a great, you know, benefit to our employees. So they're your best resources in terms of ideas. Yeah. I want to thank you for tuning in. We're going to be back next week with another episode. And until then, you can always view this show and all of our other shows free of charge, seven days a week, 24 hours a day on SohoToday.net. And we want to hear from you, info at SohoToday.net. We want to hear about topics that you're interested in, guests that you might want to see. And also, we want to know what your area of expertise is, because you never know, you might find yourself on the web.